Ken Sayamsa arrest notorious terrorist leader Abubakar Bawa Ibrahim. Nigerian broadcasters seek a national policy of information. NDLEA smashes international drug syndicate operating between Brazil, Ethiopia, and Nigeria. And on Good Morning Nigeria today, our focus is on safeguarding power installations. The story of Nigeria's power sector cannot be told without a sordid act of vandalism that have destroyed huge investment and taken us back to the drawing board. Indeed, you're right. And for instance, the transmission company of Nigeria says between January 2022 and October 2024, and 29.3 billion Naira was spent to repair 266 towers across the country. That's right, Jumai. These repairs were in Abuja, Lagos, Kano, Enugu, Bochi, Port Harcourt, Benin, and most recently in northern Nigeria, where 17 states were thrown into darkness for about a week. Now, let's attempt to explain further so that you understand the extent of the problem. TCN says 90 towers were destroyed in 2022. The situation worsened in 2023. Now 111 towers were also destroyed. Yeah, this year 65 towers have so far been vandalized. The destruction on several occasions led to the collapse of the national greed. And if I can recall, you know, the collapse of Tower 388 on the 132 kV Jos Bauchi line in the Bauchi Yelwa single circuit transmission line. There was also destruction of Towers 377 and 378 on the 330 kV Gombe Damatru line along Bauchi Gombe and Damatru. And additional collapses were reported in Damaturu Meduguri Line, Boji Gombe area, Tower 70 on the Guagualada Kantampe Line in Abuja saw four of his footing destroyed, as well as the cutting away of tower members by of the 330 kV uh, Jos Gombe from Towers 288 to 291. And so far, TCN gives out for the repair of some of these vandalized towers, but in some other instances, its engineers are deployed to work on vandalized towers across the country. So how do we safeguard the national top? national uh, the nation's power installations for posterity we have some guests joining us shortly to speak on the issue welcome to the program i am ademola adoye and i am juma yusuf and let me also welcome you to today's program the first for the week we're reaching you on the network service of the nt and as usual chukudi okolubaja will join us later for the newspaper review but that will be after the highlights of the news with comfort ahamadu hello comfort i hope you had a restful Good morning, weekend juma <laughs> and uh, Adimola. sure i had a lovely weekend and night. Uh, good morning, Nigerians. A society of Nigerian broadcasters is emphasizing the urgent need for a national information policy that uh, as a foundation to guide ethical and responsible broadcasting across Nigeria. Such policy, the body says, would ensure consistent and fair dissemination of information across all regions of Nigeria, including rural areas, media independence, balance, and accountability to support the industry role in national development, rising from its national executive committee meeting held in Lafia, Nassau State, in a release by the national vice president, North Central Zone. It's
Ismail Sani expressed uh, the readiness to collaborate with government bodies, regulatory authorities, and private sectors, as well as partners to advocate for priorities aimed at creating a broadcasting environment that serves a public interest. On security troops of Operation France uh, Yemma in the northwest have arrested on a terrorist, terrorist uh, leader known as uh, Buba Abakar Bawa Ibrahim, alias Habu Dogo, in Roji village in Eira, local government area of Sokoto uh, State. A statement by the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward uh, Buba, revealed that Habu Dogo is a wanted uh, terrorist on the watch list of security agencies in Niger due to the transport nature of his terrorist activities. An international drug syndicate that operates between Brazil, Ethiopia, and Nigeria has been smashed by the National Drug Enforcement Agency. The syndicate smuggled a total of 845 wraps of cocaine drugs into Lagos, where they were at the Hotel Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja. In other news, a chief magistrate court in Wuseizu 2, Abuja, has sentenced Professor G.D. Josiah G. to months in prison for impersonation, uh, impersonation during the 1990 uh, matriculation examination, UTME. A statement by JAMS Head of Public Affairs, Fabian Benjamin, says Professor Jesus was uh, apprehended by officials joint admissions and matriculation board while monitoring the 2019 UTME at uh, BRICS Academy in Abuja. Unable to substantiate his claims, he was arrested and handed over to security personnel for further investigation during interrogation. He confessed that he was not affiliated to any NGO and was actually in the examination to assist his daughter. In taking the 2019 UTME, the Chief Magistrate uh, uh, Justice for Lashadi Oyekon found uh, Chisos uh, guilty uh, of one uh, count charge of imposition to six months in prison with an option of a 100,000 Naira fine. The Director General of the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau, Captain Alex uh, Badi, and uh, the Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Aviation and Aerospace Technology, Abiodun Akinladi, have visited uh, the accident site of the uh, Cisco Risky uh, SK-76 uh, helicopter to oversee the progress of recovery and investigation operations. The helicopter operated by East Wind Aviation ditched off uh, the coast of Boni uh, Fima on October 24, 2024 while transporting eight individuals. In the Cross River State, the Independent Electoral Commission has announced results of eight out of the 18 local government areas which uh, participated in the council polls on Saturday, the 2nd of November 2024. 12,117 votes. That's 87.81%. Therefore, the current of APC having satisfied the requirement of the law and scored the highest number of votes representing 87.81% is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. The other remaining local government areas, 10 of them are being awaited and when they turn in, the results will be announced for the entire 18 local government results to be declared. 
Minister of Foreign Affairs refutes reports claiming that Nigerians in Libya are being arrested and har harassed, uh, harassed as a result of the decision of the Confederation of African Football CAF, which indicted the Libyan Football Federation for their ill treatment of the Nigerian team and officials while in Libya for a Nations Cup qualifying match. A statement by the spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, Eche Abu Obe clarifies that Nigerians in Libya are going about their daily activities devoid of any form of harassment by Libyan authorities. Also, the statement reaffirms government's commitment to safeguarding the well-being of its citizens anywhere in the world, which is a top priority of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's uh, the highlight of the news. Jume and Ademola will be back with Good Morning Nigeria right after this commercial break. Good morning.